when I just got out of prison, I was extremely like I I don't know if I was even alive. I was yeah. breathing, yes, and alive, but I wasn't really. I couldn't even sit. I I was just falling sideways, and then she spoke to me, my mom, and my aunt. Um, you know saying that she has obviously gone through ptsd which yeah, stands absolutely. for post traumatic stress disorder i used to um like go through the story again and again and try to give points to the judge <laughs> to oh, prove yeah. to him <laughs> yeah that listen it's not me and i cried every single day for oh, hours Lord. and hours and hours Yeah because it was it was almost like this helpless feeling not knowing what's happening yeah. no matter how careful you are yeah anything can happen So, just wanted to know, like, uh, in a, in a broad sense, how has life changed? Um. Okay, I mean, I would like to start with the positives. Yeah. Um, in a way, I think um, there were there were things that I would try to control in life before, and then after this incident, I was just like. you know no matter how careful you are yeah anything can happen um yeah so i think i've definitely learned that and just i think i've become more flexible with um just things and people around me like i was a big cleanliness freak and okay. you know so <laughs> things like that i think i've just been able to accommodate better Right. Um but there are there are still a lot of fears like even when it comes to me going out um or to go like to a space where there are a lot of people okay um yeah so i've been working with my therapist to you know like do some exposure therapy uh, to to just you know feel yeah. more comfortable mm-hmm. in yeah. yeah in outside spaces um and even like with friends i i do meet very few close friends but i haven't been able to connect with um okay. you know yeah a big group of people or like jump back into work when it comes to you know having meetings or sending auditions um so yeah it has hampered quite a lot in that okay. sense and i think I it's, it's going to take time especially because like i go on hearing that he's going to get bail and i see his brother and his sister walking this around this is Ant- anthony is... paul the accused uh, yes. in the case yeah huh. right yes yes and you know like i think even my family is going through so much when it comes to adjusting when it comes to financially and just resetting you know right i mean uh, the, the fear of open spaces for example or being in areas where there are too many people so all this has happened post uh, you've come back like prior to this entire incident happening you uh, this these were not issues that ever uh, not, nothing of that effect never never ever in fact yesterday uh, i went to my first or uh, dance workshop ever okay. since i i got back and i was so fearful about it like i was getting anxiety and, and the anxiety was giving me fever personal question and you don't have to answer it but did you have to take therapy after you came back to deal with this situation 100% even like okay when i when i just got out of prison i was extremely like i i don't know if i was even alive i was yeah. breathing yes and alive but i wasn't really 
you right. know um i remember my first trip to the psychiatrist in dubai okay. um i i was first of all my bp was extremely low so i was just oh, like falling sideways oh god it was that you bad know? yeah like i couldn't even sit i i was just falling sideways and then she spoke to me my mom and my aunt um you know saying that she has obviously gone through ptsd which yeah, stands absolutely. for post traumatic stress disorder yeah so i was diagnosed of that and even like going back to the airport i mean there's no other way i could come back right i have to take a yeah, flight yeah. to come back yeah. to the country <laughs> so i was just like oh my god how am i going to do that and then we had to work through that as well like i mean i just wanted to uh, I, and of course this is traumatic for you because see there were two parts to this one part was that you go there and you realize that you know it takes you a, a one or two days to realize that okay something has happened i have been conned that is one part of it where um, i mean i can't even imagine the you know when you're thinking okay who would have done that and things like that and one is of course the part when you were behind bars for i think uh, over a m- month and a half so uh, i mean can you can you take me back to when this happened like you know and what was the like what has uh, been more like what has traumatized you more the like the, because even the first part even though you were not incarcerated but it would have been very i would say confusing uh, and uh, you know not knowing what is happening so i think for the first like week and a half i think even like after i got out i was in a state of shock yeah i understand my body was in a state of shock hmm. um because first of all i was just like me and drugs like yeah. they're two <laughs> yeah. ends of the spectrum and all my friends were laughing they were like oh, ye phasi hui hai kaise is ko pata hi nahi hai kuch so you know all the more um I, yeah i think it was just that shock and culture shock as well because right. you know there were like the different accents and different looking people and you know people in for different kind of crimes telling you that you're going to be here for 25 years right so um yeah that was the shock for uh, being conned and i think there was like certain anger but i was more than angry i was trying to um solve the plot in my mind yeah yes yes and um because I, i i wasn't speaking to my parents i used to um like go through the story again and again and try to give points to the judge <laughs> to oh, prove yeah. to him <laughs> yeah that listen it's not me yeah know? yeah uh, but what was i so just uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you but what was your, like when initially yeah. this happened you must have formed a working theory in your head like if something bizarre happens to me you know you think okay maybe this has happened So when initially this happened at the airport what what did you come up with a working theory that and what was it like what did you think was happening To be honest I had so much of brain fog and anxiety right right, right that right. I couldn't I I see again because um I'm not so exposed to the drug yeah. spectrum. My first thought was that it's a bomb. Hai. bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and later on, obviously, people were like, "No, it can't be." But at that point, that was my reaction, and I was like, "Oh my god, I have got to save yeah. all the people at the airport. So if I throw it out, <laughs> oh god, if I throw it out, it may burst, yeah. and people may die." and then my when uh, my dad told me right there's probably yeah. something in it so i was like it's either bomb or it's either nothing i never ever imagined <laughs> it was my drugs or sakta <laughs> but, <laughs> but then i was like um, see if it's a bomb i can't defuse it so i better take it to the police i <laughs> said <laughs> that's the reason you approach the police yeah my family was really panicking on the phone yes. and i'm telling yes. them don't worry don't worry <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> they are trying to calm me down and i'm trying to calm them down yeah. um but all in all i'll tell you um when i was behind bars i went through the story a hundred times a minute and yeah. i asked myself would i have done anything different and the answer is no no yeah it's yeah, I mean, just who i am 
the thing is the law is different there right over right, here yeah. if i i mean i don't know i wasn't thinking about all of that i was just like i don't know whether people are following me yeah. um i don't know i'm in this unknown country i can get kidnapped like my mind was just like you know going in yeah. in every place possible um so i thought the best thing to do is to Operate. and i had nothing to fear yeah exactly right? exactly yes 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 absolutely yeah so then eventually from there you move on to the prison so that, obviously i'm assuming that the time in the prison would have been the most trying uh, period in the sense that now you're there not knowing what's going to happen so that would have been really difficult right honestly i don't wish it on anyone ever yeah, it's yeah. um it's hell on on earth and i do understand that there are different kind of kinds of prisons in different countries and all yeah. of that and i cried every single day for oh, hours God. and hours and hours yeah because it was it was almost like this helpless feeling not knowing what's happening yes um yes. trying to prove to them in an, in an, in a language they don't understand that yes. you know yeah True, 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 true. I don't know anything about yeah. this. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then suddenly, like uh, I remember, uh, the the process to get you back, it was going on for some time. And then August second, suddenly, hear that okay, you're back. So you you come back to India. You meet your parents. Suddenly, there's this media frenzy. There's this press press conference. All these media people. So uh, walk me through how after you came back, what like in the first one or two weeks, like how did the process of even getting back. to things like what was going because it was too much to process i mean i can understand so how i mean how did uh, those days fare um i may sound a little i don't know rude or or i don't know a little weird right now but mm. the fact is when the press came i just i said you know i have to do this right they the the press helped in so many ways the police they all everyone in that room including yeah. my family saved my life right yeah and if i have to rest i will rest after this right and in a way the cameras helped because i was just like <laughs> this is what i do for a living yes. you know i yes. am an actor and yeah. the cameras came on I didn't have to prepare. I knew. I mean, I know everything yeah. I have to say. I answered all my questions. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then, uh, I mean, going back home and finally settling in. Like, how did you even start? You like, you know, after such a thing, you come back, and how do you start living your life, or how do you even approach that? So. but i think i was just so happy to eat home food oh yeah um that is like my mom's you know um, mom's handmade food was something that i just need i just needed to be in you know in and around the place i've grown up in right um so yeah but i didn't i didn't get out of the house like i was i was Googling like bodyguards because I was so scared to even oh, step, oh yeah, to step out of my my door. But uh, yeah, but generally, have you started? Have you started work? Like apart from this, I mean, I can understand this would be, I mean, you know. But apart from this, like, have you started working on projects? Or have you started? Are you in a mentally in a space to kind of? I am. Okay. I am. But um, as as. everyone knows that it takes a lot of time to get a project and then start doing it because yes. film making is a very long procedure but before i left to sharja i had finished shooting for a show okay. and uska thoda patchwork bacha hua tha oh. so i'm really glad that the first set i went to after i came back was uh, you know it was so comfortable yes 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 that's so that's true. with very close people Okay. and i'm very fortunate for that uh, another thing that i wanted to ask you is once you're back and now the trial in your case is obviously going to start so i believe when you so when you went for your court hearing in the sessions court uh, did you uh, uh, was uh, anthony also there no no he wasn't there because I, that's what i thought that if because normally they get the accused 
So, I mean, uh, how has the legal... So, right now, I think he's applied for bail. If uh, I'm not wrong, and his bail hearing yes. is ongoing. So, you've been... At, so, I think tomorrow also is your date. Yes. So, you've been going to the... Uh, uh, the dates that have been happening? Like... No, so see, the thing is... Um... It is extremely traumatic yeah. for me to speak about it in whole that this yes, is what yes. happened and you know um, and I have to sit for hours and give every detail and I haven't been in the mental place yeah. to like I don't know whether I can come back from breaking down that much by yeah, talking yeah. about it. Yes, yes. Um, and I'm joking around with you but I cannot do that when I yeah. am narrating it as a yes. statement. Yes, yes. Um, and I just haven't been in the mental space to, you know, give my statement. Right. And if you've noticed, I haven't been doing any interviews or anything. You know, yes, I'm just yes, trying to yes, heal. Yes, yes, yes. If no, I'm honest. Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His sister lives in my building. His brother walks around, and you know, um, it's yeah. just, it's just really, <laughs> it, it really, yeah, it's very scary to even think about it because. I don't think he's fit to be out. Lastly, are you in touch with uh, Clayton's uh, family? Like, because I think his uh, earring is still on, right? I think he's still. Yes. Uh, so my family is. I, okay. as I've said, like I haven't really been in touch with anyone. In yeah, fact, yeah, there are certain yeah, yeah. things, like random things, that still trigger me, and yeah, like it's yeah. difficult for me to come out of. But. It's my birthday this month and uh, oh. my birthday wish is that Clayton gets out. Like, that's oh. all. Yeah, and to ensure that this does not trigger you in the long run, I think that's the most important thing that, you know, you deal with it now because otherwise if, if it's not dealt with, then, you know, it lingers on for a pretty long time. So, I mean, in that sense, I'm glad that you're going for therapy and, you know, like, because, yeah, this can be quite uh, traumatic. Like, I, I need people to come and pick me up even if I'm going to the next lane. I don't go oh. alone. Like, I'm so... Yeah, it's... Honestly, it's really scary. It's really, yeah. really... And I don't know how to explain it because I'm I'm an extremely independent person. Obviously, yeah. I went to Sharjah alone. So, <laughs> going, <laughs> going to the next lane is not such a big deal. But, yeah, now I have friends who will come pick me up, drop oh. me back. Oh, yeah, 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 but quite understandable. I mean, and I'm just glad that now at least it's something that you can look back and it is done, and legally also everything is done. And I'm sure, like, but is it is it done? Like, honestly, I'm really angry, afraid, and as is my family that you know he's still like applying for bail on the basis of what? Yeah. Okay, I get it. Like, there is a law, or whatever, but. We have, like, yeah. uh, there's more evidence and required against yeah, him. Yeah, thank you so much for talking. I'm really sorry, I mean, if I triggered you in any way, because I know this is a healing Not process. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah.